Hello, hello, Primham Da here at South Wales in the Vale of Glamorgan. Today we're going to be discussing everything in terms of Cardiff City and Derby, of course. Now, Derby, they escaped the repercussions, but, and that, and that is a big but, we played them tail end of April. Now, this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge because Derby County, of course, they uh, they escape punishment from the EFL. Some say that EFL might have been like convinced of a cowardly act from Derby County, but I think we need to move on from this whole Derby thing. Um, actually last thing I'm going to say on this Derby thing because my mind would just go full on hate with Derby because it was absolute scandalous and horrific for Derby just to call off a game only because and let's be fact with it Bluebirds fans it's only because Derby County had not have had trained with only 10 players the days before and uh, yeah I think obviously the EFL's done nothing but you know you know it's all due to that injury crisis they have at the moment of course they've got top players like Joe Legley out so they've got um, a few players like Vidra and all, all them but uh, yeah, it's beneficial to Derby for sure. But I think that by the time we play them, we'll be promoted. We'll probably be up already. Um, so I hope that we do win. Uh, further news, by the way, look out. But further news is that. The Cardiff City owner, Vincent Tan, Tan Shri, Vincent Tan himself, is giving money back to us fans for making the trip to Derby and spending money which we haven't got back. And Ken Chu, part of the board at Cardiff City Football Club, uh, asked for Derby County Football Club to give help to refund Cardiff City fans like myself the money for the trip and did they? No they never. They never even done anything. Um, all they done was begged and begged. I mean if that's not a begging club I don't know what is. Um, they're trying to beg now for the EFL to make make a apology from Neil Warnock I mean come on I don't know what they do like Warnock said he nailed it in the coffin when he said that we don't know what the game plan was no one will only Derby will but I can guarantee you because no one was at that ground when Cardiff City travelled to Derby County's ground. No one. Not the manager, not the caretaker, not the referees, not the officials, not the like the owners of Derby. None no one, absolute no one turned up at Derby apart from obviously that tweet. I'm I'm uh, yeah, that tweet that obviously stirred up the Arguments which stated, of course, that uh, Derby County Shop will be staying open at a certain time. But uh, yeah, all of all of this needs to be put to bed. Um, I know it was unfair for us Cardiff fans to do anything or say anything about it, but I think it's time to 
put the carpet or put the blanket over what uh, what was a bad time in Derby County Football Club history. So moving on, what a win for the Welsh! What a win, six 0 to Wales away against China. Um, I haven't got. I'll have a look on my phone. Uh, because as I'm recording this, I'm so unprofessional and I'm so sorry. Um, as I'm recording this at the moment, I'll check out. By the way, check out the Flash Scores app. Uh, it's a pretty cool app. You pretty pretty much get all the uh, updates from every score line ever, from football to cricket to tennis to motor racing and all that. So, with that said, at the moment, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like Wales could be playing Uruguay on Monday for the final. Um, Uruguay have got some world-class players in Cavani and Luis Suarez, in which they both scored, actually. Yeah, look. Yeah, Suarez and Cavani scored. Um, I mean, what can I say? It, it will be a good match between Wales and Uruguay for the draw. Um, but, yeah, a great win for Wales. 6-0. And a top performance. The youngsters played, of course. Wilson, what a goal from him, by the way. It was epic. Um, so, yeah. Um, with that said, um, in other news, that it is sold out, <sighs> sold out, Aston Villa versus Cardiff City, sold out allocation. Oh, I am so pleased in announcing that I will be going to Aston Villa away for the biggest game of Cardiff City season. Um, and yeah, I do hope you're invited and you are going. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. I will be doing interviews and all that jazz afterwards. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I do hope you all enjoy that for Cardiff Fan TV, of course. Um, Aston Villa, it arguably, is the biggest game in the promotion. Uh, if we Because we've got our game in hand with Derby, win against Derby, 10 points from 3rd and 4th, Villa and Fulham. But we win against Villa... I think we got it. Of course, we play Wolverhampton Wanderers, and uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers will uh, not be an easy task. But we have got the faithful of the Bluebirds in our hand, and at Cardiff City Stadium um, coming soon. So, yeah, that will be a huge game that could decide the title race, of course, of the season. Um, so, furthermore, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone watching um, and supporting the channel. It is incredible to see how many Bluebirds fans, or even just general football fans from Wales or wherever, enjoy our, t our channel. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, moving onwards, um, obviously the international break, Cardiff will benefit from that as well, as Derby injuries we have are absolute phenomenal. We have got Gunnarsson, who is obviously playing in the, uh, in the Iceland match. Um, but there is 
a under 23s Cardiff City match. Um, and yeah, so here's the headline Cardiff are sold out at Villa. Healy has gone to Turkey. Good experience. What a incredible talent Reese Healy is. Um, I feel for the guy because I I do like our young Welshman, and uh, I hope they do well. Um, so good luck to you, Reese Healy, and uh, soon we'll be we'll be in the prem before you know it, Reese. Um, and you can play part in the prem. <laughs> Um, the next one is that Vincent Tan, of course, is going to give money back to the fans of Cardiff City um, after Derby cowardly does not want anything to do with Cardiff City because of the whole debacle. Um, so, yeah. Uh, They wouldn't agree to help Cardiff fans, of course, yeah. Uh, Tomlin, of course, gone to Forest, doing well in Forest. Um, they're saying that Nottingham Forest want to sign Lee Tomlin permanently. That should be interesting. Um, of course, I think Cardiff got Triore. From Forest, but uh, I could be wrong, so don't don't uh, eat me away. Um, like that um, and I think that's about it for the news with Cardiff. Um, England play tonight. I do hope them well, even though I'm Welsh. Um, yeah. So, look out for more stuff, more interviews at Cardiffan TV. I'm making sure interviews will happen. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, just checking out if there's any other news. Um, phenomenal, obviously. At China, you were quite winning, of course. Um, any news on here? Um, Then that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now. So uh, smash your like button, smash your subscribe button. I know it's an international break, but don't worry because I think now we'll play Burton next week and uh, it should be an interesting tie because Burton is not an easy place well even though we beat Burton of course at their ground um, they are fighting for dear hell for staying in the league so obviously last time out they lost to Wolverhampton Wanderers so yeah, it's a uh, it'd be a dog fight of a game, but I'd, but I have full confidence in Cardiff winning that game. I'm gonna say scoreline wise, three 0 to Cardiff, confident win. So yeah, Dochavarian and Pihamdar and I'll see you next time.